Mortal Kombat 3, released in 1995, marks the continuation of the epic saga that began with the first installment of the franchise, building upon the foundations laid by its predecessors. Mortal Kombat 3 expands the mythology of the series, introducing new characters, realms and conflicts while further exploring the ongoing struggle between the forces of good and evil. To fully understand the intricacies of Mortal Kombat 3 and its sprawling storyline, we must embark on a journey through the realms once more, delving into the depths of Mortal Kombat universe to uncover the secrets, betrayals and alliances that define this legendary saga. Let's get started. Shao Kahn, the Emperor of Outworld, fumes after his defeat at the hands of Liu Kang in the previous Mortal Kombat tournament. Tired of losing through fair fights, he hatches a cunning plan rooted in ancient prophecy. Shao Kahn utilizes his shadow priests, led by the sorcerer Shang Tsung, to resurrect his deceased queen Sindel. The twist, they revive her not in Outworld, but on Earthrealm. This act serves a sinister purpose, according to the Forgotten Pact, bringing Sindel back to life on Earth allow Shao Kahn to bypass the dimensional barriers and claim her, merging Earthrealm with Outworld in the process. As Sindel awakens in Earthrealm, confused, Shao Kahn seizes his opportunity. He reaches across dimensions, pulling Sindel back to Outworld. But the damage is done. Earthrealm starts to transform, its skies darkening and its landscapes twisting into a wrapped reflection of Outworld. Billions of souls are ripped from their bodies, fueling Shao Kahn's conquest. Raiden, the Thunder God and the protector of Earthrealm, witnesses this horror unfold. He understands the gravity of the situation. While Raiden can shield the souls of his chosen warriors, their bodies remain vulnerable. Earthrealm needs champions to fight the physical invasion. Raiden assembles a team of veteran fighters like Louis Kang, Johnny Cage, Sonya Blade and Jax Bridges. New faces also emerge, including Cyrax and Sector. Lin Kuei ninjas grappling with their plans transformation into cybernetic assassins. And Kitana, Princess of Edina, a realm already conquered by Shao Kahn. Meanwhile, on a arrived Earth realm, Sonya Blades leads a resistance force against Shao Kahn's extermination squads. Jax, cybernetically enhanced after losing his arms in a fight with Kirino, joins her cause. They encounter other survivors, including martial artist Kung Lao, who becomes a crucial ally. The Lin Kuei clan, known for their deadly assassins, undergoes a drastic change. Their grandmaster seeks ultimate power by converting his ninjas into cyborgs. Sub-Zero, a prominent Lin Kuei warrior, refuses this transformation and becomes a target. He escapes the clan, vowing to find a way to reverse the process. Shao Kahn, revealing in his conquest, announces a new Mortal Kombat tournament. This time, however, it's not battle for survival of realms, but a showcase of Earth realms impeding doom. Raiden, aware of Shao Kahn's manipulation, discourages his warriors from participating. Despite Raiden's warnings, some combatants, driven by revenge or ambition, choose to enter. Sonia seeks Kano, her nemesis, who serves Shao Kahn. Cyrex and Sector, their minds clouded by cybernetic implants, fight for the dominance within the Lin Kuei. Kitana, yearning to free her enslaved mother, Queen Sindel, joins the fray. Throughout the tournament, his and agendas play out. Sindel, seemingly brainwashed by Shao Kahn's magic, fights for Outworld. However, it's later revealed that she is under a powerful spell forced to betray her own realm. Meanwhile, Shang Tsung, ever the opportunist, plots to overthrow Shao Kahn. He seeks powerful artifact, the medallion of Shinnok, the fallen elder god, believing it can grant him godlike power. Despite the odds, Earthland champions prevail. Dui Kang and Jani Cage and Kung Lao emerge victorious in their respective battles, showcasing the resilience of their realm. Even Cyrax and Sector, after battling each other, gain a semblance of control over their cybernetic bodies. Enraged by the tournament's outcome, Shao Kahn decides to climb Earthrealm by force. He confronts Earthrealm's chosen warriors in a final showdown. Liu Kang, fueled by the hope of his fallen comrades, faces Shao Kahn in a brutal battle. In a display of incredible strength and willpower, Liu Kang defeats Shao Kahn, shattering the Emperor's hammer, the source of his immense power.
which Shao Kahn defeated, the merge between realms collapses. Earth realm is freed and the souls stolen by Shao Kahn are returned. Though Earth realm is saved, victory comes at a cost. Many heroes have fallen. Raiden reflects on the sacrifices made and ever present threat from outworld. He also ponders the revelation of sinners forced by betrayal and the lingering influence of the middleion of Shinar. The future remains uncertain with the new threats potentially looming on the horizon. If you are still watching, I am hoping you like this video. So hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. Also check out my games, links are in the description. See you guys in my next video.